Today is May 10th. It's 8.23 a.m. Central Time. The market's going to open in seven minutes. Looking at the NASDAQ, um, looking at the hourly chart right now, um, these were Friday's uh, highs up here. We came right up to the weekly. Um, this is a weekly volume profile. We came right up to the value area high for the week, um, hit that, and then just came straight down. Um, for the rest of the day um, and this is what happened in the overnight uh, Sunday evening um, we're just drifting back down you can also see this LVN up here which is going to hold it um, for today <clears throat> looking at Delta we are at negative 1400 Delta for the overnight we're below VWAP um, and we're at negative about half a percent for the overnight session. Um, that all looks pretty bearish. However, we are still in an overall uptrend. Um, and we're right down near um, an area of support um, here. So um, I think this thing may want to come back up. I'm still overall bullish on it. Um, but right now, this is obviously pretty bearish um, coming into Monday morning. Um, so I'm going to be, again, just cautious with it. I think that if we break below, I think price will move below this support area, um, this 13.683 or 638 area. And if we look at a four hour chart, you can see we've got this four, this is this dotted blue line is a 200 SMA. Um, <clears throat> I think this area down here will be some support for it. This 13,600, maybe it wants to come back down to 13,500, but I do think we're going to break below this and move down some more um, before coming back up. Um, but you know, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, but that's my guess for right now. So what I'd be looking to do, um, my first trade idea would be to take a short below 13,630, um, back down to 13, so somewhere in here, capture a, capture a trade. Um, I think we will break this and then drop down to 13,600 before getting a bounce. Um, it's either going to want to bounce off of that and probably come back up, or it's going to bounce off just a little bit and then fall again, maybe another 100 points down to 13,500, which will be a big support area <clears throat> for it. So uh, yeah, I think uh, today is probably going to be some shorts uh, to start, and then maybe price will begin to move back up. Monday's always a little bit tricky to read. Um, so you know, I would ex expect maybe price to move up here up into VWAP area, maybe even pop through a little bit to 13,690 before then coming crashing back down. Um, but we will wait and see, be looking at Delta for confirmation uh, for that price. Uh, if it comes back up here and moves back down, looking at Delta, just make sure Delta's dropping some more, or price may just right here fall through this level and just keep pushing down. But we'll see what happens and, and try to get a couple of good trades.
So we just took some shorts there. Um, I just knew this thing was going to start moving down. Just watching the delta on the open, you can just see delta dropping. Um, all that selling. Um, each time delta was just making new lows. Um, really aggressive selling. And once we got through the 13,600 level, this 13,590 would have been big support. Um, and we break through that, you know it's going to come down and test the 75 area and then probably eventually the 50 here. Um, but at some point it's going to want to bounce and, and come up. And I saw um, Delta starting to consolidate here. Um, so I just wanted to take that scalp because on the open it couldn't move out around quite a bit. So we got 430 on that whole move. Um, Probably could have held this a little bit longer, but again on the open, I was I had so much size on it that on the open um, that thing could have whipped back up to value area high before coming back down again, and uh, just needed to take a profit on that, <clears throat> and then uh, we can just watch it some more. But I think this will probably keep falling um, for a little bit. I mean, Delta is now at negative three thousand four hundred, so uh, we'll watch it. Um, I think this is going to drop again right here. Oh, there goes point of control. It's going to push down some more, maybe 13,050. We'll see what happens. So we took another short there, but um, I thought it was going to drop down another leg, but I just saw Delta come up, so we got out real quick. Um, lost like 60 bucks or something, so. I, I think this is going to start coming up a little bit, because we can see Delta moving up in that direction. So that's another good, you know, a good example of how Delta can give you an idea of where price is going to go. Um, right now, there's no trade. I mean, this thing could fall. The direction is down, but oh, there it goes. But you can get caught pretty easily in one of these, particularly on the Nasdaq. This thing can just whip right back up.
So here I'm watching Delta making new lows. I think we're going to come down again. And I can use the band here on the one minute to kind of give me an idea of how far. I think we'll get down to that 30 level. Here come some buyers. Oops. That's too much buying for me there. So right here, there's this nice edge forming um, in the volume profile. You can see a little more clearly on the one minute over here. I think this is a whole short zone up here. I'm just gonna, you know, you get Delta to confirm that. You see if Delta starts dropping down, I think price will probably try to come back up into here again, and then you're gonna watch Delta to see if the short's coming in. You know, 75 would be up in this area. So now I'm really going to be watching Delta. I think this, let's see what happens here. See all that selling that just came in. I want to see it try to go back up, form some support, try to go back up, and then we get through that support on the way down. That's a lot of buying. It's getting through that. Let me take a short here. This may stop me out. This may be a little, little anxious here. So on that one, we came up, we saw this reversal candle. Um, it was into the area that we thought would be some selling going on. We saw that reversal candle, we took the short, but then I saw this, I can't remember where it was, was it this one? That buying coming in, and I just thought that thing was going to pop up again. So I got out right away, then we saw a lot of selling, selling, more selling, price dropping, some support forming. <clears throat> and then we saw Delta breaking through these 
and we knew it was going to at least come down into you know this value area, low area. So <clears throat> made a few hundred bucks on that. Um, may want to drop down some more. Uh, we can see Delta moving down, but we're a little too close to this value area low for me to want to to want to take that. Um, I'm not really seeing any other trade forming except maybe a long, you know, back up into this area, maybe coming, you know, all the way back up here to value area high, uh, which is not the direction I want to go in with all the selling and Delta being so negative. So probably just going to watch this for a little bit, um, let it work its way around and oh, that's a lot of selling. Look at this. This thing may just want to keep falling. But at 835, 835 um, in you know 22 minutes, um, I don't, I feel I feel okay with that, and I may wait about an hour um, till about, well maybe about 45 minutes, 9:30, 10 o'clock, and see see what it's looking like, and see if there's another um, setup happening.
So I think this is going to keep falling down. I took a little short here, but I got out because I saw Delta starting to come up and I thought it may want to pop, but I definitely should have held that one. It's another case of uh, trading your P&L. I just don't want to take a loss because I'm up 860 right now. Uh, but this is going to keep falling. This candle here on the five minute, this is going to come down to at least the 450 level. So I may try to just jump back in here. Uh, getting back in at that price I was at before looks pretty good. Watching this LVN right here, this edge. Now it's cutting through it. 74. I'm gonna really be watching Delta here, starting to drop a little bit. Maybe I'll try to let it form some sort of support and try to push up and then as that support breaks, I'm seeing Delta though pushing higher. Is it gonna keep falling? <clears throat> uh, I just didn't take it. Now we're just jumping the gun here because we're having FOMO. I do think we're gonna come down to that 50 level. Yeah, all oh, that's dropping there. I'm gonna move this stop up because I, I really think it's gonna fall down some more. I'm just seeing pretty weak delta. This is up at that value, or up at that LVN ledge. I'm 
We're seeing it move down. Look at that one minute candle over here. If this thing gives me a reversal, I'm gonna jump all over it. Six seconds. If it closes like that, I'm gonna sell another one. Yeah. Delta's making me a little nervous. I'm gonna sell another one up here, I think. I, I like this resistance area. So another one up here, I get two more contracts before I hit my personal max. So another one. And then as this begins to move, I'm going to sell one more. Actually, I'm going to take one up here. I do not think it's going to get through this node. All right. I'm max position sized out here. This is just where you're using that volume profile to show you that there's a lot of resistance there. See it on here. Now we got Delta coming down.
tempted to just take profit here, but I, I just think it's going to come down some more. Let's see if we can get through that. There, that's fine. Oh, I do think it's going to come down to like this <clears throat> 60 area, but... Yeah, just trading the P&L again. Just got to get better at um, holding these things. I'm just getting a little too anxious there with that amount of size. And that's probably going to call it a day on that, so... Uh, 1600, 1660, um, you know, still, still trying to get better at this, uh, you know, getting and taking my shorts up here at this LVN, um, and getting out, you know, down here, even though that, you know, that's just a scalp, but it's, it's an easy scalp. It's a, it's a very high probability scalp. Um, so I may watch this a little bit longer, but I doubt I'll take any more trades. It's 10.03 right now, and at 10.30, the European market will close. Things will start uh, changing a little bit. You'll have to wait probably until 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon to find anything that's going to move the way it should move. Um, so for Monday, it's not too bad. Uh, got the rest of the week to trade.